Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christy and I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. And today's going to be a little bit different video than normal. Um, normally, I get most of my inventory from the Goodwill bins. The price point there for me is usually between $1.20 and $1.50, which is a really good price point for inventory for me. But it's getting to be winter time and it's getting cold outside and snowing. Um, we actually had snow last night. Um, oh, yesterday was Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Uh, hopefully you guys had some really good food, spent some time with some family, had some fun, and all that good stuff, and now it's back to work. So, um, today's Friday. I do have off the day off from my normal job. So I do work a full-time job out of the house. Today I have off, and I received this big old box in the mail and so that's what I'm going to be doing today is unboxing this for you guys. Um, it's a new company I've never ordered from them and I will let you know what the name of it is at the end. I'll kind of give you, um, I've watched several YouTube videos unboxing from this company. Um, most of them were really really good. There was a few that were you know eh, but you can get that with any company. Um, so far first impressions this company is great so they have their own youtube channel they do their own youtube shorts some of them are comedic youtube shorts um they have done their own youtube channel where they, un they just pick a random box off of a palette and unbox it and show you what kind of items are in there um, on their website they have mystery boxes that you can buy they have palettes <clears throat> that you can buy they have curated boxes which are a little bit pricier but it's because they take time, they take pictures, some descriptions of all the boxes, that, that everything that's in the box, so you know ahead of time what's in there. And so they have all of that as an option. Um, I ordered this box on Monday, this week. And if there wasn't the holiday um, yesterday, I would have had this box yesterday. It was in my area yesterday. So, but it didn't get delivered because of course it was Thanksgiving. So ordering it on a Monday and having it in hand by the end of the week, to me, was awesome. So we're gonna get into this. Oh yeah, also, one thing they didn't do with my box, every other box that I watched unboxing, so you have this big old box, right? And they tape it really, really well. I did, um, since I do not um, edit any of my videos, I did go ahead and cut the tape off camera and every other video that I've watched of theirs, they put like a piece of cardboard in the middle so you can't cut your clothes. Well, on mine, they didn't, and I cut a piece of, I cut one of the pieces of clothing. Yeah. So, my bad, but partially they're bad because I didn't put the cardboard in there like I thought there was going to be because every other boxing, unboxing that I saw had that cardboard. So, um, this box, uh, oh, and another thing. Um, when you go onto their website, you can sign up with your email to get 10% off your first order. And I did that, but I never received an email with my code to get my 10% off. So I messaged them the next day and let them know that, hey, you know, I signed up. I didn't get my code. Is there any way I can get a code to get 10% off my first order? And same day, they sent me an email back with a code. So very fast to respond to emails, um, very fast shipping, and um, got it in the mail very fast. So those are all pluses. So that will all depend on what's in the box. So I paid, this box is 40 pieces. It was $110, I think. Maybe it's a hundred, I think it was a hundred dollars. And that was plus $20 shipping. So the ch shipping is a little high, but um, yeah, I mean, it's probably about what it probably costs them to ship this box out, if not less than what it costs them to ship it out. And then, so my total out the door was $110 for 40 pieces. Um, these are, could be men's, could be women's, could be children's, um, any sizes. They're supposed to be new with tag, new without tag, shelf pulls. So it's not supposed to be used clothing. But I guarantee you there could be, you know, small stains. There could be, you know, small, you know, flaws on them. But we'll see. So I guess let's just get into what is in here and see. Let's see if I can give you a view of what's the, that's the inside. And I'll pull out the item that I cut first 
and just show you. See, I cut it. So let's see what I cut and if it was something bad. Um, that's another thing. There's probably going to be a lot of brands in here that I've never heard of. So if you see anything, let me know. So this is just a good thing. It's called Taylor Vintage. Taylor Vintage. It's a size medium. Just a long sleeve shirt. Um, it does have a Marshalls tag on it. And the retail uh, price was $29. Let's see. This looks like it's children's. It's cute. It feels, almost feels like linen. See, is it linen? Oh, no, 100% cotton. Let's see, the brand is just Jessica Simpson. It does not have a retail, wait, does it have a retail tag? It says 40 and it was $46. So I'm sure I can't sell that for $46. But, not bad. Let's see, here's some stuff all mixing together. Let's see, this is called Nickel and Iron. Um, new with tags, just a nice flannel shirt. Let's see, this men's or is this women's? Let's see, Nickel and Iron. There is no... Yeah, no retail tag. Except for the tag on this, so zero, zero, zero over price. But yeah, Nickel and Iron, another um, brand I have not heard of. Let's see, this is Beach Lunch Lounge. And it is just another button up flannel shirt, new with tag. Um, another reason why I bought this box now is. Well, everything's supposed to be new with tag, and it's coming up to the holidays, and people do not like to buy a lot of used clothing for the holidays, so I figured I would get something like this. This is called Cotton & Co. It is another flannel shirt. Let's see, size 12. Um, I don't normally see shirts in size 12, so this may be a kid's. Um, actually, it looks like a boy's shirt. See, this is another de uh, denim and flower. Uh, looks like the tags were ripped off of it. So this is the first one that has not had any tags. And it's just a nice button-up shirt. This is another one. Doesn't look like it has tags. Oh, it's just, uh, just Geary. I think that's sold at Walmart, isn't it? I'm not sure. But it says Geary, 1946. It is a hooded sweatshirt, so I'm sure I could sell that. Let's see, what is this? This is Hippie Rose. No retail tag, I mean no retail price on it, but it's just a button-up sweater. With some nice big old pockets with buttons. Yeah, again, new tag. I'm noticing most of these tags have Marshalls tags on them, so they are probably all from Marshalls. Um, this is an Anne Klein uh, size 10. It is a dress, retail price is $100. We all know I can't sell this for $100, but, oh, it does have a small flaw here on the end where there's some loose string or some loose thread, so I'll just have to disclose that. Let's see. So if you guys have watched some of my videos, I have, I did say I was supposed to open or do a battle of the boxes with another reseller friend of mine. But she has decided to be a responsible reseller and work through her death pile and not get any more boxes until the end of the year. She's ordered a few, so you may, she may unbox a few more, you know, a few more boxes before the end of the year, but we will see. She's not supposed, she's supposed to be being a good girl and not ordering anything else. So also I think she likes me being the guinea pig and getting stuff from new places. So. 
Let's see, Flag and Anthem is this brand. It is a size small. It's hooded. It's waffle knit. It's very long. So it zip pulls it. So that's a nice piece. Again, most of these brands I've never heard of. Um, this is called Curious. Uh, that I never heard of. It starts with a K. So that's a tag. It's like a cropped, like open knit type sweater. Um, it had a tag on it, but it is no longer there. So that is another brand I've never heard of. Uh, oh, I've heard of this one. This is a Polo Ralph Lauren, size large, just like a classic tee. It says the retail price is 55. No, it's just a classic t-shirt. Let's see, this is French Connection. I've heard of that brand. I don't think it's great. There is not a retail price on it, but there is new with, it is new with tags. So just a nice button up. Let's see, this is a Land's End, size small, quarter zip, and it doesn't have a tag anymore, but it does have that on the front. So I still, I will sell this one still new with tag. Those other ones, I don't know if I will sell them yet, new with tag or new without tag. Now this is a Rachel Zoe, no retail price, size small, just a nice, Basic tee, blouse top. Let's see, this almost feels like it's made out of something different. It's probably not. It's a mo model and uh, polyester. Let's see, what's this? This looks different. Oh, Adidas. Of course, I've heard of that one. So Adidas, it's a woman's. Of course, again, it had tags on it, but there's no tags on it now. It is just a pair of sweatpants. Looks like they're possibly navy, navy blue or black. Oh, nope. They definitely got some uh, damage on the back. I don't know if you can see that on my camera or not, but there's a bunch of like pulls in the material. So I may or may not sell that yet. We'll see. I'll look through it a little bit better. And if it's just a little bit on the back of the leg, I may sell it and just let people know. But if not, if it's more than that, then I might not sell it. Let's see, this is another Polo Ralph Lauren, size so large, men's button-up shirt, new with tags, no retail price. Ooh, this is a little bit bigger. What is this? A pair of sweatpants that are very big. Let's see, this is Champion. It's a 4XL. Uh, Kohl's. Champion men's size 4X pair of sweatpants or joggers because I guess the bottoms do have the thing at the bottom, so those are nice. Ooh, these are soft. These look like kids. Oh, it's a lucky brand size medium. It's not kids. Lucky brand size medium pair of like women's buffalo plaid. Pajama pants, they are definitely very, very soft. And I may have to change my position here for a second. Come, come my feet are starting to fall asleep. Ooh, there we go, that's a little bit better. Let's see. Today is just a chill day sitting in my house since it is cold and snowy and rainy and yucky outside. If you can see me right now, I put on a shirt for y'all, but I'm in my jammies still my jammy pants. Um, this is a Tommy Hilfiger men's size medium t-shirt. Let's see, here's some corduroy called Brooklyn Cloth. Uh, no retail tag, it's a size medium. Relaxed chino corduroy pair of pants. It looks like there's a coat. All right, what 
was going on with this? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Eddie Bauer, super soft fleece, strip aligned, which means it's inside out right now. So I was trying to figure out, it's all like bobbled. So it's a strip aligned, size large, super soft jacket by Eddie Bauer. And the retail price is 75 bucks. That I may keep for myself. Don't know yet. If it fits, it may be mine. All right, here's a coat, uh, um, suit jacket. Size is 44R. Oh, it's Nautica. Looks like it's a navy blue Nautica men's suit jacket size 44r active stretch this is what it says on it do they give a retail tag there are retail prices more like what i'm trying to say no don't see a retail price don't know how how well that will sell i don't really sell um suits at all or suit separates or whatever this is c siono or c c sono outerwear that's a size medium it's really nice kind of like a corduroy jacket it says it's a size medium but this looks way bigger than a medium definitely oversized it's a shirt jacket jacket your new wave c siono size m yeah, it's their jacket. Size medium. That's actually really nice. Ooh, here's a sweatshirt, I think. Let's see, this one, it looks like it is Trust. Brand is called Trust the Universe. Never heard of that, but it's a very large sweatshirt. Let's see, size large. It's like got this graphic on the front. It says it's large, but it looks like much bigger than it's large. Except it does have some string hanging down here, so I'll have to look to see what that's about. But that was new with tags. It looks like another jacket. Oh no, nope, pants. These are the brand is I'm guessing it's Legend. Become Legend. It says the retail price is $46. It says, I would assume it's Legend, but it has like a three in there. And it says they're extra large. So there's a big old pair of sweatpants. And they are fleece lined. So that's nice. Let's see, it looks like another pair of pants. The Nautica? Yes. So this looks like, yep, and it's a 44R, waist 38. This looks like it's the pair of pants that goes with that suit jacket, so it's a whole suit. So there we go. I can sell those two together. Let's see. And this is, the brand is actually Ford. Uh, it's a sweatshirt. And it's got Gonna be able to, is that a Mustang? No, it's just a supercar 550 HP 4 GT. Yeah, 4 GT supercar sweatshirt. No tags on that one. Let's see, here's another hoodie. It is called SCW. No idea. Never heard of that. CW size small. Okay, what is this? So it says Golden Fox Ramen on the front there. And it has that little, I don't know if that's a kitty cat. Yeah, I think that's a cat. And then on the back, it's got this big graphic. So that I have no idea. It may be good. Sometimes weird, funky stuff like this is good. 
and it's up with fleece line. Let's see, here's another Nautica piece. Just new with tags, Nautica classic fit, retail price of $70. Jeez. Just a, like a polo shirt. Did I say the size? Yep, size large. We've got a handful of items left. I feel like there's more than 40, but there's probably not. Another Polo Ralph Lauren, size small P. $125 is the retail. It's a polo, new tag, so it's polo on the front. It's very thick, like a sweatshirt. Ooh, here's a jacket. That's by Spider. That's the brand. Um, the retail on this is $200. So let's zip her up and take a look. It's like a puffer. I think. Okay, let's have a look. Yes. Okay, so it is this big hooded puffer jacket by Spider. It's got a zip pocket. Let's see if it says any other info on the front. It says water resistant, thermal web. So that's good. Get that listed ASAP. Looks like there's some other kids. Let's see. Buffalo wear denim. Uh, retail is not on there. I do not see a size on there either, though. But it's just a, it's not a kids. I thought it might be, but I did probably like a size medium men's flannel shirt. Another flannel. It's original Bruno Super Soft. It's a size medium. Again, never heard of that brand. There's the tag. Super Bruno. Just a button up flannel. Definitely got a lot of flannels in here, which I'm totally fine with. Here is another Ralph Lauren size medium flannel. It's got wicking, it's got stretch. Doesn't have a retail price on this one, but it's super soft. Hope that's really nice. Let's, see, let's go through and get all the flannels. There's like a ton of flannels down here, so we'll get all of those out of here. Uh, Tommy Hilfiger, Tommy Hilfiger flannel size extra small. This is weird. So it says XS, which is extra small, and then underneath that it says TP slash. XP? No idea. Retail price $69 for that. There. Yep. Okay, there's one more flannel. And then after that, there's three more items. So four more items total. This, ooh, is a North Face. North Face flannel says retail price is $65. It is. Men's. It says small SP, but this does not look like SP to me at all. So it says organic fiber. Yeah, I don't know. So let's see if I can show you guys, see if you guys understand this. I don't normally sell North Face. So this is that there. But this is what it looks like. So that does not look like a small petite to me, but I guess I'll measure it. But that's cool. The new North Face new tag. And then this is another Polo Ralph Lauren. It's a size medium, 10, 12. I believe this is a kid's. It says retail price is $29. Yeah, that's a kid's. Good shirt. And let's see, we'll save this jacket thingy for the last. Another Polo Ralph Lauren. It's classic fit, size medium. Retail price is $55. And it's just another t-shirt. And now we're down to the last piece. 
Sorry dogs, that was just me. This is a brand called Truth. It says the retail price is $68. And it is hooded. It is, so it's a hoodie. It's super soft. It's really nice. So, yep, that's the last item. I don't know about you guys, but I am super happy with this box. Let's get back on my feet. See, you guys saw my jammies for a second. So, super happy with the box. I will definitely be ordering another box from them. This box, awesome. Almost all new tags. Out of the 40 items, there was like, what, two or three items that we saw with flaws. When I'm starting to go through it again, I may see a few more. But they weren't flaws that I couldn't list. There might be those one Adidas pants that I might not... I might not list so but yeah that's everything um, so first impressions of this I will buy from them again for sure buy from them again I'm very happy with the box and um, if you like this kind of content please give me a thumbs up and um, subscribe if you're new um, leave me a comment if there's some brands in here that you saw that you know are good or that there's like you, you wouldn't sell them let me know those, please, because there's definitely a lot of brands in there that I don't know. And let's see. Subscribe, comment. Thank you to all the new subscribers that I've had. I've had quite a few in the last couple of weeks. I think I've had 20 or 25 new subscribers. So welcome. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for watching. And hopefully you guys have a great weekend. Hopefully your sales go great. Um, mine are okay. I did do a 35% off coupon for today and tomorrow, or yesterday and today. And I've gotten like three sales from it. So, you know, not more than I normally would get, but yeah. All right. I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to let you guys get on with your day and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.